Hello, welcome. I'm going to take a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures from the late 80s, as well as some other tie in products. And what I have on the table here are the Archie comics. So these weren't the original. Turtles were created by Eastman and Laird in 1984 under their own Mirage Comics, or Mirage Studios. That was a black and white comic book, very limited and more violent. But by the late 80s, turtles were basically became a phenomenon and were licensed to a large number of companies. I mean, they were on, aside from comic books and toys, you know, tons of food products, and just everything you'd slap a toy brand on, you know, school supplies, just just anything really. <laughs> they, the turtles were everywhere. Of course, they got live action movies too. And this here is a comic book tie in to the movie. And there's, there were trading cards as well, and just so many things. I have a variety of stuff. I'm not going to show it all here. It's just kind of pointless to look at every little thing. But I'll have more on the blog if you want to see some images. In fact, at this point, I haven't put the whole blog entry together, but we, with the scans and photos, we've got over 80 images already. <laughs> That's going to be a long blog post. So the comic books started as a little mini series, three issues. I don't have the first issue though. I do have some duplicates in here. But yeah, like I said, this stuff it became kid oriented once it got licensed. I mean, that's where you're gonna make the money. Keeping it for older kids or adults wasn't gonna make you as much money as, as anything for a kid. I mean, kid products, toys, cartoons, everything. It makes tons of money. So, and of course, there's a handheld from a Konami. They have plenty of video games, too. I only own one video game. I've played a few, but I've got the Game Boy. I think it's Fall of the Foot Clan. Which isn't a bad game. Alright, so the action figures. I guess I'll pull all four turtles out at once. So they have some nice detail. The only, the biggest negative I've got for these is, is the balance they don't balance well they don't have a lot of posability it's like you really gotta position their legs just right to get them to stand of course his sword's a little bent because i had it in on his back for a long time they all come with their base weapons and even two mcdonatello has two staffs but really only needs one and then they can put them on the back like i said the balance it's, it's tough. They don't have any real opposability here. The legs move a little bit, but there's no joints. They do have one area that moves more, <laughs> like around the elbow there, the forearm you can turn. So you have some variety can, to make their weapons move around or pose them there pretty well, but yeah, the legs, they're rough. You really gotta find the right position to, to get them to stand. It's just, it's tough. Now, Michelangelo, the reason he's not holding weapons is they broke. The the nunchucks, it's like if you were to hold them, there's a piece of one of them. They'd come with two, but they both broke. I guess I'd probably put them in one in each hand, so then they'd bend slightly, and the plastic just didn't hold, so it just snaps right there. I guess you would have to just never bend them and just keep them you know one in each hand they did come with a variety of other weapons though even though they have their main weapons they all come with a weapon rack and other like shurikens and small knives and whatever i'll show you in a bit when i show you shredder so aside from the turtles i mean these guys like i said they look good there was a of course, Splinter, he has a cloth robe. He's a bit creepy looking, I think. But I guess because he's a rat, that's how he's gonna look. And his cane is also a blade. There's the hidden blade in there. He also comes with a bow and arrow. I mean, the arrow doesn't come, it's permanently attached, but it's a rather large bow, but you can hold that. And we have April O'Neil. It's the only, well, Shredder's a human as well. This is it for the good guys that I have. 
Like I said, I don't have nearly all of them. <laughs> this is kind of late, you know, when I would have been done playing with toys. I still bought these. Probably should have just left them sealed. They're more for just setting up for display purposes. Now, April comes with a microphone and a, a recorder because, of course, she's a television or a journalist. But she also comes with this, which is kind of surprising. I'm pretty sure this goes to her because I don't know who else it would. It's a little case with a handgun in it. I don't recall her running around shooting anyone, but of course I don't have a great memory. I think this is just for the toys, really, but I don't think it's necessary. So the bad guys, I have a few. And I just knocked something <laughs> off the tail. Very tight squeeze, got so much stuff here. I'll have to grab that in a minute. Now I've got Bebop, you know, a Foot Clan soldier. Bebop, he looks great, I think. Very good detail. Again, though, with these legs, really tough to get them to balance. Yeah, he really uses arms and the weight on the front of the weapons kind of to maybe hold them forward, but it doesn't work so well. I don't have Rocksteady, his partner. Uh, the foot guy is really bad too. His legs, they have him so bent and he's always going to be leaning over. Then depending on where you put the weapons, it also is going to really be difficult to balance. One thing these guys do have are little holes in the feet, but those would only attach, you know, to accessories like a vehicle. Now I did check with G.I. Joe to see if they would fit in the G.I. Joe stands, but they don't. The stands for G.I. Joe, the peg hole, pegs are uh, a little big for these, which is unfortunate because those would have been useful. The shredder I broke. <laughs> they have broke him quick. So I still have the original packaging. So uh, this is the weapon stand with all the weapons that they come with. So pretty much everyone comes with these kinds of weapons. And then their main weapon, which for him would have been this sword. So these are all still attached. Otherwise, you just, you know, detach them and hang them on the rack. Or the shurikens can just go on a little peg. And his leg broke. Probably when I was trying to force him to balance, he snapped off right here. You can see how they're made. They just got this thin white plastic piece, but yeah, just trying to get people to balance just probably aggravated me to no end. Again, yeah, I think, you know, he's otherwise pretty cool. He also has cloth like splinter. He's got, of course, the blades all over his outfit. Yeah, it's unfortunate the legs aren't the best thing. I didn't even mention. These are made by Playmates. It's ripped off right there. But... That toy company is probably best known for Star Trek. I mean, Turtles would be a close second. I don't know what would have made them more money. I do have a Star Trek figure in the case here, just for comparison. They're, they're not that different. I mean, action figures, of course, all come with accessories. And, but they're about the same size. I never opened any Star Trek figures, but they do look like, at least this one has some more posability, like knee joints. You kind of see the height's not too different, but of course, these are thin, maybe more like April. So the turtles are slightly bigger, I guess, a little bulkier. Of course, this is one of those limited ones. <laughs> Just grabbed it to show you for size comparison, what else Playmates made. Something else Playmates did though, being having the Turtle and Star Trek license, they did a crossover. Uh, There's a magazine ad, I don't own any of these, but they took the Turtles and dressed them up like the original Star Trek characters. They, you know, they put plastic hair on their heads, their outfits. So that was pretty cool. But I don't have those. I do have some more of the packaging, I'll just show you the back. Of course you can see the Keldor price tag, $3.99. Not a bad price, I guess. I mean, G.I. Joe figures worth like $3 around that time period, maybe a little more in 88. So you get, you know, a little file card to cut out pizza points. Then I think every packaging has the same little story about how the turtles came to be. One thing they did do early on is spell Michelangelo with an A. 
Now, it is how you spell Michael, but Michelangelo, like the artist that he's named after, doesn't have that A. They, they later renamed him. I'm not sure who made that choice, the toy company or just whoever made the turtles. I don't know if they always spelled it incorrectly or... But at some point, the spelling did change. And I do have all the file cards, but I cut them off the packaging. I just have a few of the full packaging. All the bad guys, apparently I didn't cut those out. Alright, so some of the accessories. Let me grab the one I dropped on the floor real quick. Uh, Alright, here's the first accessory. This is the cheap skate, it's called. And it's basically a giant skateboard with a propeller on the back. And when you hit the fin, when you do like a wheelie, it kicks a foot out to knock a bad guy over. It also includes a shield for the turtle to hold. Well, it's a sewer cap, sewer lid. And these are the instruction manuals that came with the toys. They're very basic. Pretty much just telling you where to put stickers. And in this case, you know, I've got to add the flag, a little flag accessory that pops off. I just use Michelangelo here for demonstration. So you can see all the different pegs can position characters. Find the peg. So then one hand takes this. This is the kind of thing that might snap and be a little concerned with. Here's the shield. So then I'll do the wheelie. You can see the foot kick out. You can try to kick a character. The problem is the balance. <laughs> He's already going to be falling over. But yeah, it just kicks him. Toys also the accessories also came with these. See, this one says "cheap skate" on it. And everything I should point out also comes with uh, the Turtle Force Fan Club sign-up form. The action figures came with these little ones. I did sign up for this. I have all the items to show you that it came with. They always want people to join the fan clubs. So this little joke book has jokes, like it says, and they're very bad. So these are scanned on the blog if you want to read all the jokes. I can tell you a few of them. They're just really bad. Like, man, this really isn't even a joke. Who is the turtle's hero? The pizza delivery man? Yeah, okay, they like pizza. <laughs> so, uh, uh, why does Bebop eat so much? He likes to make a pig of himself. You know, because he's kind of a pig guy. And what is the turtle's favorite drink? Punch. Because they punch people, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of bad jokes. Not Maybe kids found them funny. Uh, I don't know. They're, they're just not good. <laughs> so the other accessory that I have is this. It's called the Turtle Trooper. It's basically a parachute. So, yeah, another joke book. I won't read you those all, all jokes. And it's blueprint, or well, they call it blueprint, the manual. It's a little discolored here. So you put a turtle in this weird device. I don't know what these wing things are supposed to be, but they just look strange to me. I guess, I don't know, they look a little like plane wings, kind of, like, like the tail of a plane. But they're hard to get, get the turtle in there. In fact, this broke as well. Just down here where the screw goes in, it snapped. It's trying to jam a turtle into this. So what you're supposed to do is grab Michelangelo again. Just because he doesn't have any weapons in his hands. And we go. Get in there. Just to wear this helmet too. It's not gonna bother snapping his hands in these, but that's where they go. This flag's kind of losing its stickiness, but it is a rather large parachute. Of course, it says Ninja, Ninja Turtles on the top in a couple places. 
parachutes. Popular toys, maybe. G.I. Joe's got some parachutes, of course. But, you know, they're military. That makes sense. <laughs> and Fisher Price toys have parachutes, too, for those adventure people. That's it for the toys. You know, we'll leave links in the um, video description if you just want to jump between certain items I'm showing. You just go to the, the fan club. So, you sign up. See, the sun is adjusting, <laughs> affecting my light here. The, this is basically the intro letter. You know, congratulations, you know, you're now a member. You get two charter member cards, one, a you know, a big one, one I guess meant for your wallet. I did write my name on them. And number of 5,230, which is a pretty low number. I guess, you know, maybe they went in order of people signing up. Maybe I was one of the earlier ones to sign up. Uh, get this Mutant Power sticker. And a little comic book. This one's black and white like the originals. Very short though. And you get a bandana. It's pretty big as well. So I've got a few things and then there's also a newsletter. I should have looked at what it costs to uh, let's see what it costs to join. That's only five dollars, so you get all this plus the newsletter. All right, I'm wasting time folding all that. <laughs> yeah, I've got three newsletters. I was only a member for a year. I don't know how long they kept this up. So it's April '89. I believe this is the first one. And fall winter 89 and the smallest one I guess they were shrinking or they ran out of stuff to write about September 1990 just flip through the first one again these are all scanned if you want to read them on the blog actually this one's rather short too this one I did write in so there's activities you know new turtle toys they're mentioning of course there's the big van the wagon I'm afraid the shadows from the sun are, might be messing up. But you keep, it's kind of hard to read on a video anyway. Just showing you a motorcycle and a Foot Clan Cadillac. Turtle Club products. You can order a variety of things. Of course, there's an order form right here to try to sell you some more junk. So they had pencils, plush, patches. Memo pads, stickers, t-shirts, all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, one of these, this is the second one, is really long, it's the longest. It's, only also, it's like a few extra pages, more activities, more stuff. Another order form. And new products and sponsors. So yeah, this is probably the more interesting thing. Some of the things I'm going to show you. Yeah, they mentioned other products like the tines, the calendar, knee pads, you know, it's for skateboarding. Frozen confection, which I guess would be probably ice cream. Turtle cookies, I'm going to show you some cookie boxes. Collector cards. I think the first one had a uh, Hollywood video and Pizza Hut tie-ins. Okay, the food products. Let's start with the cookies. A couple cookie boxes. And there's no food. I eat all the food, I guess, when I was younger. <laughs> I do have cereal boxes with cereal in it still for, our, for other items. <laughs> Mostly Wheaties boxes, I guess. So, these are by the brand Delicious. They had mini bite-sized cookies and then regular cookies. And I mentioned a few other things. Four flavors and these other favorites. I guess these are other cookies they sell. I don't think these are other turtles. But they always, you know, they always have something you can either collect points for or cut off the boxes. This has something here where 
you can cut cut out the characters and just stand them up. There's also advertising the motion picture. You can buy a poster. And this is showing you know, the membership stuff again. These, I don't know if you care about prices of food. This one doesn't have a price tag. These were two for 99 cents, so 50 cents for a box of little cookies. Only two ounces though. And these fold up and have a little blimp picture. Not much else to this box except trying to get you to join the uh, club again. Uh, this I don't have the packaging for. I've got things I, th I think these stickers came with this. And this is a piece of the packaging with the stuff you'd order. So this is for pudding pies. It's like, you know, like kind of like a hostess pie with pudding in it, like those fruit pies. And then there's a pudding point, so it's part of the packaging. Collect pudding points, and you can order this junk. <laughs> a hat, t-shirt, belt buckle, signal clickers. Yeah, like I said, I think this they each came with one sticker, and I think that's what these are from. Right. Cereal boxes, a couple cereal boxes. Of course, turtle's head cereal. Can't remember exactly what it tastes like. I mean, very sugary, of course. They look a bit like rice checks or corn checks, perhaps. And then they have those marshmallows that you may consider gross or like. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of these. It tastes okay at first, but man, too much sugar. Yeah, I wasn't really into that. But I guess I ate these because they're turtle cereal. I never ate like Lucky Charms, but that's what the the marshmallows are kind of like. And. You can win all the toys, and then they show you this this bandana or not? Well, the space mask kind of thing. I think it's this. I mean, the picture looks like it's a nice cloth one, but of course it's just cheap cardboard. Because you can't expect anything great in a cereal box, and of course it gives you the rundown of the ingredients and some more stuff on the toys. A bunch of the you can see the price tag here, $2.99, 3 bucks for a box of cereal. Pretty much the same today as a 12 and a half ounce box. And there's another box, this one's folded up. This is meant, it has a, its own game, so like up on the, the lid is pieces you cut out to play the game. And these are the game rules for two to four players. And the ingredients again. At the bottom are some numbers you cut out for this as well. And then of course this is the board. So it's not bad, something to do. Fun thing to play while you're eating your cereal, I guess. And there are also promotions. I can't remember what comes from what. But I have this bowl here, which I think was a mail-in offer on one of the cereal boxes. This one being Raphael, because it's red. They did make all of them, I believe. It says his name on here. It doesn't say like the product it was attached to, just that licensed by Surge Licensing. So, little bowl you can eat your cereal in. Oh, well, there's a little, like I said, emphasis on that. And here's a mask. I didn't cut the eyes out, but I did cut it off of something. My guess would be a pizza box, probably. I mean. There were pizza tie-ins. I have another one to show you here. But it's got like that kind of waxy, like it was probably from a frozen food box. So either pizza or maybe it was on a waffles box, but pizza seems more likely. Yes, yeah, so here's another piece of a box. I don't have the whole box. This is from Elio's Pizza, which you may or may not be familiar with. It's only available in the northeast US, I believe. That's where I used to live when I was younger, so I had access to this. I have a few of these, but they're all Shredder. It's all scenes from the movies. Collect 17 movie scene cards. Then again, you can order a movie poster here as well. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if these were maybe on another product in another part of the country, but in the Northeast, it was on Elio's Pizza, just frozen pizza. Okay, the table's getting crowded. <laughs> Almost done though. Uh, just a couple more things. Sticker albums. It's probably evident I like these if you watch all my videos. I had some for the wrestlers. 
I showed one, I think, on the blog, but maybe not in a video, like of the tick. So these, there's two different ones, one being for the movie and one for the cartoon. These are from Diamond, both of them. I think I'm gonna move these boxes to get shadows out of the way. So, yeah, Panini's probably the better known company. They still make sticker albums for sports and things. This one had some kind of 3D going on. I don't know where that piece is, but I do have 3D glasses around so that you, know, you get 3D images. Of course, sticker albums, if you're not familiar with them, you buy packs of stickers, kind of like packs of baseball cards, and then you match up the number to where it goes in the book, and you try to complete the whole book to get the whole story. And you still get the quotes on the story, but you know, pictures to go along with them. I do have one of these sealed, that's what this is here. And these are packs of stickers, so I could open them and stick more in there, but <laughs> yeah, for now I don't need to do that. So the movie one, I don't know if the movies are considered good or bad. <laughs> Back then I was fine with them, but it was 1990 the first one. So, you know, movies weren't as advanced. That was just after, I guess, the year after the Batman movie, the Michael Keaton one came out. And if the microphone will pick that up, my neighbor's dog's barking right now. And it has a poster in it as well. All right, just about done. Last thing, <laughs> VHS tapes. So, from the movies, you may remember Vanilla Ice was a big part of the soundtrack, having the ninja rap in the second movie. Now, of course, these are sealed. I have not opened them. Yes, I don't know why I have these. This was this one though, I mean this is the video single of Vanilla Ice. This is this tour they went on and they sung, you know, people dressed up in the turtle outfits as seen in the movies, but but it's like they were a rock band now. So I'm gonna open this one right now. I, mean, I don't think there's anything to see in here, maybe a booklet. This one it's nine eighty eight is the price, which is kinda high because it says it's only thirty minutes long. It says we make collectability a way of life. Well, these are collectible, but I'm gonna open it. Of course, I do have a VCR. And I'm gonna try to see about finding a clip on this. So no, nothing in it, just the tape. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do now, I mean, I may end the video here, but if I find something good on here, I'll add a clip to the end of this. I'm hesitant to put any music because I put a clip, music clip on a video and it got blocked by YouTube. That was 2XL when I tried to play an eight track tape at the end of the video through the robot. I thought, you know, a few second short clip of a song wouldn't matter playing through a toy robot, but it did. So I'm gonna just find a clip if I can with no music probably. It does say it has interviews and behind the scenes footage. I'll just use on brief like 20, 30 seconds if I find something great worth seeing. Otherwise, this is the end of the video, so thanks for watching. Yo, rock and roll, dudes! Totally break a shell, man! All right, all right, let's get this! Awesome, I'm ready to go! Yeah, happening! Dudes, we're rocking! Yeah. 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 Get off my shell!